Welcome to the Pacific Northwest edition of America Outdoors Radio. We've got a fast-paced hour of fishing, hunting, and conservation covering the nation and the Northwest, including 13 extra minutes of local content you'll only hear on Seattle's Sports Radio 950 KJR. It's Saturday morning, and I'm glad you're here. Chinook salmon fishing has moved from buoy 10 at the mouth of the Columbia upstream into the gorge and at the bottom of the hour. Aaron Peterson, owner of Peterson's Northwest Guide Service, will tell you exactly where he's going to be fishing on the Columbia near the Dalles and how he's going to go about catching some kings. Bob Loomis is back, too, at the end of the show with a kokanee lure that works great for trout at this time of year and some suggestions on where you might want to fish it in the southern reaches of the Pacific Northwest. Before we chat with Bob and Aaron, though, it's time to tell you what's hot. Right here in the Pacific Northwest, brought to you by your Puget Sound Area Sportsman's Warehouse stores, where that Coho Derby kicked off on September 1st and runs through October 31st. Here's how it works. Catch a Coho, then bring it in to a Sportsman's Warehouse store in Silverdale, Everett, or Federal Way. Weigh it in, get your photo on the brag board, and you are entered for a chance to win a $1,000 gift card if you have the biggest fish for the store you weigh your fish at. There are other prizes, too, worth several hundred dollars, so go fishing for coho because the fishing's been good, and then bring your catch in to your local sportsman's warehouse for a chance to win big. Dove hunting was a bust for me and several other folks in Grant County on the 1st, but if you were in the right place, there was some good dove gunning to be found. Rob Phillips, the longtime outdoors writer for the Yakima Herald Republic, was one such person who found a place, though it wasn't in Grant County, but in Yakima County where he downed quite a few of these acrobatic birds. Dove hunting remains open through October 31st and... There should be dove throughout eastern Washington until the first cold front of the year dries them south. Another thing that wasn't hot but sure was interesting was the fishing trip I enjoyed at eastern Washington's Billy Clap Reservoir with the Northwest Fishing Reports crew. We caught rainbow trout, walleye, and smallmouth bass in a day of fishing at this really pretty coulee lake. And though none of the fish we caught were really big, there are some big ones to be found here as well as kokanee. A case in point? The 20-inch walleye, the angler in the boat next to us, lost right before he was able to net it. And the four-pound rainbow, caught by the Northwest Fishing Reports crew out of the lake the day before I went fishing with them. This fishing trip will be airing soon on the Fox Channel in Spokane and the Tri-Cities, and with any luck, here in the greater Seattle area too in the near future. One thing that has been hot has been the coho fishing in Puget Sound. Last Sunday, creel checkers found anglers averaging one to two coho each out of Marine Area 5 and CQ in Marine Area 8-2 out of Everett and in Marine Area 10, checking returning anglers at Chill Shoal Bay. The best coho catching last week, definitely out of CQ. We've got a couple of other fishing derbies to tell you about too. The first is the Everett Coho Derby taking place September 22nd and the 23rd. This is part of the Northwest Salmon Derby Series and a $65,000 fully outfitted Kingfisher boat will be given away to one lucky person who bought a ticket to participate in any of the derbies put on this year as part of this series. The other derby to tell you about is the Mardon Resort Dock Tournament at Eastern Washington's Potholes Reservoir. This one is happening next weekend, Friday the 14th through Sunday morning, and you can fish for as much or as little as you want, day and night, from the big dock system they have at Mardon Resort. Cash will be given away for the top two fish in all sorts of different categories, from bass to walleye to crappie to perch to catfish to carp and more. This is always a ton of fun and attracts north of 120 anglers a year of all ages. Contact the folks at Mardon Resort for more details. And with that, you are now in the know as to what's hot and what's not. Right here in the Pacific Northwest. That's your first local shot of the outdoors. Now let's see what's going on across the nation. NorthwestFishingReports.com is the Northwest's largest fishing reports website, featuring well over 50,000 fishing reports, videos, articles, and more, all 100% free. Catch more fish with Northwest Fishing Reports. Log on today. 
Tillamook Bay is considered the greatest fishing experience on the west coast for fall Chinook salmon and winter steelhead. And Dungeness crab is plentiful. Five major rivers connect with the ocean on the Tillamook coast. It's not unusual to snag a 40 to 50 pounder. Go out in a boat or stand on a riverbank or dock. Try fishing from a dory boat and experience the thrill of a beach launch and landing. Use spinners, sand shrimp, or salmon eggs to lure them. The fish will line up to grab your bait. Go to TillamookCoast.com backslash fishing to find guides and places to stay. The off-season is a great season to visit Mardon Resort. Located in eastern Washington's Columbia Basin, you'll find incredible bird hunting, great wildlife watching opportunities, and fantastic fishing in a boat or right off the marina docks at Mardon Resort. Better still, off-season deals save you money when you bring your RV or stay in the hotel or wonderful park cottages. To find out more, log on to MardonResort.com. Mardon Resort, where the outdoor fun lasts all year long. Sportsman's Warehouse is America's premier outfitter. And with over 90 locations, you're sure to find a store near you full of the gear you need to succeed this hunting season. Firearms, ammo, archery equipment, decoys, clothing, boots, and more. You'll find it all at Sportsman's Warehouse. Better still, the knowledgeable staff can help you with tips and frequent in-store seminars, all designed to help you bag a trophy or a limit this hunting season. Find a location near you or shop online today at sportsmanswarehouse.com. Are you an outfitter, sporting goods retailer, boat dealer, or someone else in the outdoors industry? If you are, you know targeted advertising works best. And what would work better than advertising with America Outdoors Radio? Our hour-long show is heard throughout Seattle, Everett, and the East Site every Saturday morning, and your message will be heard there, too. Better still, our rates are way more affordable than you think. Want to find out more? Contact me, John Cruz, through my website at americaoutdoorsradio.com. That's America Outdoors Radio, bringing you more business. Ready for more local fishing and hunting? You got it. It's the Pacific Northwest edition of America Outdoors Radio. Right here on Seattle's Sports Radio 950 KJR. We're checking in with Aaron Peterson, owner of Peterson's Northwest Guide Service. Aaron, you just got done fishing the famed Buoy 10 Salmon Fishery at the mouth of the Columbia River. Go ahead and tell me how good you think it was this year, rating it from 1 to 10. How are you doing, John? Yeah, coming off buoy 10, it was a pretty good season. Uh, probably give it a 6 to 7. Had to work for your fish a couple days here and there, but typical buoy 10, you had to move around and you could fight them. Well, I know you're done with buoy 10. You are moving upstream to the Columbia River Gorge. Exactly where in the gorge you're going to be fishing, and why are you setting up shop here for the next few weeks? Well, John, I like how the fish neck down and kind of hold in front of some of these rivers and some of these thermal breaks from to Klickitat, to Drano. Um, The Deschutes has a new closed area, but I think I can sneak around and uh, fish a couple good spots still on the river on the outside of those areas where fish will still slow down. I know that in normal years, there's a good number of fall Chinook to target in this area. And I know that as September stretches into October, the coho starts showing up too. What is the limit in the gorge for these fish? Uh, Well, the limit this year on Chinook salmon has dropped down to one fish, and uh, they did this in order to keep the season open longer for the sportsmen because the run size looks like it's slated to be down about 30 to 35 percent. When it comes to catching the Chinook in the Columbia River Gorge, what are your tried and true methods? How do you go about your business in terms of getting these fish into the boat? Well, there's two styles of fishing in the gorge, John, from hover fishing eggs on a little bit of a shallower line to uh, using the rotating flasher with uh, super baits and spinners. So I'll just be uh, seeing what the water temperatures are and uh, seeing how these fish are holding on using which method. Both tactics sound like good bets to me. Last question for you, Aaron. Do you have any openings? I love fishing for salmon in the gorge in September. I do have some openings left. Uh, I think I have one weekend left and a couple weekdays on the calendar still available. Okay. Well, if you want to go fishing with Aaron this month for salmon in the Columbia River Gorge, the website to go to is petersonsnorthwest.com. That's petersonsnorthwest.com. Aaron's a great guy to fish with. He knows his stuff. You're going to have a good time, and chances are you'll come home with some salmon too. Aaron, Good luck in the gorge. Looking forward to seeing you there soon. It's always a pleasure to have you on America Outdoors Radio. Thanks for having me, John.
Don't leave yet. We've got one more local shot of fishing and hunting to wrap up the Pacific Northwest edition of America Outdoors Radio. It's that time again. Fish on. It's time for another Max Minute, brought to you every week by Max Lure Company. With us again, Bob Loomis. Hello, Bob. Hi, John. So, Bob, let's head to the southern part of the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, Southern Oregon. When it comes to Northern California, what are a couple of trout lakes you love to fish this time of year? Flaming Gorge. <laughs> Wrong oh, state. Try oh, okay, again. Okay. You know, there, there's a lot of uh, really good lakes down there. Shasta, Truckee, Stampede. You know, you got a, a number of, of lakes down there that are really phenomenal trout and kokanee fisheries. And when you head across the border to Oregon, three that come to mind for me, Applegate, Lake of the Woods, and of course, Diamond Lake, which is a fantastic rainbow trout fishery. What is one lure you'd recommend using at any of these lakes to get some trout into the boat? You know, uh, a lure that, that's a fantastic lure that, that people kind of overlook for trout, because it originally was designed for kokanee fishing, is uh, a lure called the coconut. On the top of it, you've got a uh, plastic grub body, which is up on the top with uh, different uh, high UV colors, as well as the flash boo on it. And when you add a smile blade to it, it is an absolutely phenomenal tool for kokanee, as well as rainbow trout, or most trout species. There are some ideas on some lakes to fish in Northern California and Southern Oregon this month. And the coconut is the lure to try while you're there. Look for the coconut at sporting goods stores near you or online at maxlure.com. That's all for this week, but don't worry. We'll do it all again next Saturday morning from 7 to 8, right here on Seattle's Sports Radio 950 KJR. Are you an outfitter, sporting goods retailer, boat dealer, or someone else in the outdoors industry? If you are, you know targeted advertising works best. And what would work better than advertising with America Outdoors Radio? Our hour-long show is heard throughout Seattle, Everett, and the East Site every Saturday morning, and your message will be heard there too. Better still, our rates are way more affordable than you think. Want to find out more? Contact me, John Cruz, through my website at americaoutdoorsradio.com. That's America Outdoors Radio, bringing you more business. Looking for that extra something that will get more salmon or trout into your boat? Then check out the Double D Dodger from Max Lure. The Double D does double duty and helps you catch more fish. The Double D's flash attracts lunkers and the Dodger's patented stop-start action works wonders to get those fish biting. The Double D does even more by acting as a side planer to get your bait away from the boat where the fish are more likely to be and more apt to strike. The Double D Dodger, it's the Dodger you've got to have from Max Lure. 